everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Kay. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at my beauty purchases from February. So if you didn't already know, I am on a little bit of a low buy at the moment, but that does only apply to makeup purchases, um, toiletries, skincare, things like that. Um, I don't have, I was gonna say I don't have so much of a problem. It's it's not a problem so much as makeup something that I want to rein in a little bit. I've got a lot of it um, and I f I'm finding that I'm not using it as much as I want to. Um, and I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed with myself for that. So I wanted to try a little bit of a low buy. I'm also doing a rolling full face project pan. Um, and trying to do that with buying lots of new makeup every month. I was finding that it was hindering that project a little bit um, so sort of from two sides it was a little bit frustrating so I decided to do a bit of a low buy what that means is that I'm allowing myself to make three purchases of makeup in a month and by purchases um, if there's a collection of items chances are I'm not going to want just one thing from that collection I'm going to want to buy a couple maybe more things so I'm counting a collection as one purchase but what I wouldn't do is from the same brand from different collections buy sort of a lipstick from this collection and a blusher from this collection I would count that as two purchases so last month I just about managed to uh, stay in my three makeup purchases and this month I'm actually quite impressed with myself so uh, let's get into what I bought so the first thing I bought was this lip gloss from um, I Heart Revolution um, this is from the chocolate range now um, if you've been watching my project pan you'll know that I've had a couple of um, these lip glosses in my project I really love these lip glosses um, I'm currently working my way through one and once that's gone I'm out of my neutral colors of a lip gloss formula that I know I like so I was on um, Revolution Beauty website I was actually trying to buy something for um, a couple of other people that I know um, and while I was there I just thought Do you know what I'm gonna pick myself up a lip gloss as well paid for it ordered it and then thought oh no oh that counts as a purchase Oh no, I really hope there's nothing um, super exciting that I want for the rest of the month. And fortunately, there wasn't. Um, but yeah, I, I did feel a bit annoyed with myself for blowing a purchase on a lip gloss. But it was something that I wanted. Um, and it's, it's something that, well, it's something that I liked in the old packaging. But I noticed that they've updated the packaging. So I'm hoping they haven't updated the formula. I guess I'll find out. Um, this one is in the fragrance flavour I never know what to call it when it's in a, a lip product um, but this is chocolate orange which I like chocolate orange I like to eat chocolate orange I'm not advocating eating lip gloss but um, I'll be honest the smell isn't um, quite as nice as I hoped it would be it's quite a lot of fake citrus and not a lot of chocolate which is unfortunate um but it's still quite pleasant i'll still get some enjoyment out of it i haven't actually tried the lip gloss yet so i can't speak to how it sits on the lips or anything at the moment but um it's quite pretty color it's like a peachy sort of color it's like a peachy pinky sort of color so um looking forward to trying that and then the final Michael product that I bought before I get onto skincare, I did buy some skincare things this month as well. Um, but makeup wise, this was the last purchase that I made, but it is two products. It was from one collection, you know, that was my little loophole that I gave myself. Um, and But I did only buy two items, there were more than this in there. There were several lipsticks and there was also an eyeshadow palette. So this is the NARS um, Claudette collection. So we've got the um, blush and bronzer duo here, although it just says it's a blush duo, but I'll show you when we get inside. And then we've got an audacious sheer matte lipstick. Um, so they had two ranges of lipsticks. They had the sheer matte and then they had the regular audacious. I've never tried, in fact I've never tried NARS lipsticks to be honest. So whichever one I'd have purchased 
so whichever range I'd have purchased from it would have been a new experience for me but when I looked at the shades for the um, regular audacious range there wasn't really anything that sort of really grabbed my attention they were all quite new and neutral which was you know what this whole collection was about um but yeah i wasn't really that fussed um and then in and then in the sheer matte range this one this was the one that really caught my eye so this is in the shade sylvie this is what it looks like so it's got the nars branding sort of imprinted into it here looks like that um and then i'll just give it a swatch for you so you can see it's a very pretty color but it is quite sheer there's enough to give you a color on the lips and i have actually worn this i've tried it i really like it it's quite comfortable on the lips it does dry down and it's a little bit drier than some of the other matte formulas that i do enjoy um so it's probably not my favorite feeling um but it wasn't totally uncomfortable to wear the color was just beautiful i, I really love the color um and the packaging just look at that packaging how beautiful is that it's so pretty and it's a magnetic closure as well which i like and then this was the actual thing that i went on to buy this was what i definitely wanted and this is the blush duo um but it does actually have a bronzer in here so that is what that looks like I've already um, dinged it. I dropped the lipstick in it while I was trying to take a photo for Instagram because I'm clumsy and that stuff just happens to me. Um, so the blush is in the shade Quasette and the bronze is in the shade Ninochka. I've tried it a couple of times and it, it just looks really pretty, really nice. I tried to resist this. I really wasn't going to buy either of these um, when I first saw that these were being released they were released in the US first of course um, and I, I took one look at the packaging and I'm a sucker for packaging we all know this but I said to myself no I'm not going to buy it just for the packaging I might not like the items inside so I'm not going to buy something just for the packaging um, I've tried a NARS blusher orgasm obviously um it's what everybody tries i'm sure um but that that blusher it's nice but it's got a bit of a sheen to it and i typically don't gravitate towards those kinds of, of formulas um and i assumed that that's what this might be um so i just wasn't going to bother and then i watched mel thompson do a video on these and I, I watched it but i don't think i paid too much attention to it because i remember thinking oh that's really pretty but still thinking mm -hmm, it's not for me and then when it launched on cult beauty which is where i bought these from by the way um i read the description for them and the blush shade read as a matte peach blush and as soon as i saw the words matte and peach together i went oh no because peach blush is my current weakness i'm kind of obsessed with peach blusher at the moment so as soon as i saw that i, I sort of realized that my plan of not buying these was um probably not going to work very well and that the bronzer was also a matte um shade and i, I can't remember what that was described as but i remember thinking oh that's not going to i don't think that's going to be too heavy or dark maybe that might be worth a try and as soon as that thought entered my head, I was on Cool Beauty and I was ordering it. And then I thought, well, if I'm getting that, I might as well look at the lipsticks. Um, and that was when I found Sylvie. I did look at the eyeshadow palette, but it was very sort of brown, natural sort of shades. And it's not me. So it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was worth me spending my money on it. So I was very good. 
and I only bought the two products that I was um, really keen on so very happy with them um, obviously I need to try them out a little bit more before I can give some proper thoughts and opinions on them but first impressions I like them as I said with the lipstick I'm not I'm not 100% sure I like it but it seems like it's it seems like it's okay it might be something that I can I can work with um, and the blusher bronzer I'm I'm just keen to try and get some more use out of that um, and use it a little bit more regularly but we'll see how that works with my project pan we'll see and then on to more skincare based things that I bought so I bought this from Molten Brown this is the bath and shower gel in the fragrance coastal cypress and sea fennel so I know I mentioned in a couple of empties videos I finished the delicious rhubarb and rose um, like deluxe mini of this um, really love that scent love that fragrance so much um, and I did mention then that I might look into getting a full size version which I had full intentions of getting that fragrance but then this one popped up and I remembered that I'd had a deluxe mini of this fragrance before and I loved it it's a proper what I consider to be like a proper sea scent so it really does just remind me of a salty ocean um it's got it's definitely got a fragrance in there there's like an artificial sort of um marine fragrance going on in there but i just i love it i really love it this is just a fragrance that i really enjoy um in the bath so uh yeah i decided to get this one instead but i'm still thinking about the rhubarb and rose one because that did smell gorgeous so you can see i've already used half of this one already so i'll be needing to top up soon and then the last thing i bought was this so <laughs> this is just a cute little sheet mask well i'm assuming it's cute um so it's from sense beauty i actually bought this from home bargains i think it was like 49 pence for 49 pence i'm gonna give a sheet mask a go um but yeah it's the fox facial sheet mask it says it helps improve skin elasticity and boost your skin with cucumber extracts and it's good for all skin types um it feels quite squidgy so it does feel like there's a fair bit of serum in there with the mask um and i'm, I'm just really keen to open it up and see what what it actually looks like because if it does have this fox thing on that's going to be quite fun and if i put this on around my son he's going to absolutely think that's amazing so uh so yeah so I'm, I'm quite excited to try that and that was everything i bought in uh in february so this is probably one of the shortest beauty purchases videos i've ever done um i don't hate it but now it's over to you guys and um, what do you think of my beauty purchases this month Maybe you want to let me know what you guys bought in February or was there something that you were interested in that you actually held back from, uh, perhaps because you're on a low buy or a no buy. Just let me know in the comments down below. I'm always interested to hear other people's thoughts and opinions. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button for me. It really does help me out and lets me know that you're enjoying my content. If you're not already subscribed to my channel and you think you'd like to catch up with me more often, then I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button too. It's totally free, would help you to find me more easily in future. And with all of that being said, I really do hope everyone's well and staying safe. And I will see you all again in another video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.